I think the entire world will be watching the first time a human walks on Mars. We all know that it's going to be very, very difficult to get there. And I think it's going to be one of the greatest accomplishments that humans have ever done. And to do that as an international endeavor is just going to be the icing on the cake where it wasn't something that one country could do. We had to all pull together, and I can't think of a bigger milestone. I don't think we're going to be able to do it alone. We're going to have to work as a human race together internationally uh, to make it happen. And one of the biggest milestones, I believe, is to go back to the moon so that we can have a place to operate from, a place to test all of our new systems, design concepts, and operational concepts, and then stage uh, a mission uh, to uh, Mars from there. We've been operating this engineering marvel 250 miles above uh, the Earth, 365 days a year, with basically no problems. I think that's a great testament to what we can do when we work together. Even though we come from lots of different backgrounds, even in the United States, but across countries, we're all human beings and we all uh, love our families. We are great team players and the diversity of our crew is a big uh, contribution to the strength of our crew. Of course, yesterday was Christmas and we all had to, uh, to work yesterday and our Russian uh, crewmates had some free time and they actually set up a dinner. They decorated the Russian segment and they invited all of us over for like a Christmas dinner. So that was pretty cool. Friendship makes everything uh, possible. So working together as an international crew, we are always helping each other and doing great things every day. I think what I find most interesting, what I think is uh, one of the biggest positives, and you see it up here every day, it's all about diversity. And that's what makes a great team is that we are all different. Uh, not only different nationalities, but where we grew up, what we studied. So I hope that we can all take the time to learn about um, people that are different than ourselves and try to understand where they're coming from. When we look out the window in our cupola, you can see the most beautiful sight that you've ever seen in your life. A nice blue, healthy earth. And it's a very small place. As we know, we get older, we develop greater and greater technology. The country's borders become more uh, gray. Uh, people start to morph towards each other's cultures and it becomes a very, a very small place. I think that's a really good thing because we work together more and we get more done and we may need to force ourselves to take care of the uh, earth uh, a little bit better than we have been.